What's going on fellas? Cody from Bass Bullies TV and today we are going to talk about this conglomeration that we call the Alabama Rig. Now as promised, I'm going to show you guys how I set up my Alabama rigs, what I throw them on, and how I, what I've learned over the years of throwing this bait to catch more fish on. Now before I dive into it, give you a little bit of a history about the Alabama Rig. It was introduced, I want to say six years ago in 2011. Correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't done my research, but uh, it was introduced in like 2011 in an FOW tournament where Paul Elias on Gunnersville on one of the infamous bridges caught over 110 pounds, 111 pounds of bass. Now, in certain states you're only allowed three hooks, some states you're allowed four, five, stuff like that, but in Tennessee we're only allowed three hooks. Uh, you probably want to check with your local state laws and everything before you throw this if you haven't thrown it already. Uh, I'm going to get into the setup because that's about the more of the simple thing that I can tell you guys about. You need a heavy rod. I mean, that's basically it. You need a heavy rod where you can cast them real. That's how you fish this thing, you cast them real. Uh, I prefer a flipping stick, whatever size flipping stick you want. I prefer it to be 7.6 to 7.11. I have it on a 7.11 heavy. The real. I wish I would go slower, but it's on my flipping stick. I want a faster reel so I can flip faster and get my bait out faster. But I'm throwing it currently on a 7 1 to 1. If I can have a dedicated A rig setup, it'd be on a 6 4 to 1 or a slow, little bit slower gear ratio just so it doesn't work you to death. But the rod is more important so you can actually get it out there without breaking the, the rod or wearing yourself out because you're throwing around two ounces. I don't know, it just depends on what size head you use and everything, but the A-Rigs use typically weigh about two ounces. The line I use just depends on what kind of water clarity I'm fishing. If it's clear water, I'm using fluorocarbon, 20, 25 pound fluorocarbon. If it's very stained, muddy water, I'll throw braid, 65, 50 pound braid, something like that. You want a heavy line because you're, you're throwing, a, one, an expensive rig, uh, it's a little heavy. And also, if so you don't lose those rigs, and because if you throw it, you're typically throwing around $30 at least. And the reason you throw heavier line is so you can bend the hook out or break an arm if you need to. Now, the rigs that I use. I use mainly two rigs, sometimes three. Uh, the two rigs I use are, this right here is the Shane's Baits fifth element rig. And you can see I have a one without a swim bait. But it's the Shane's Bait 5th Element Rig. It has four blades on four separate arms, and it also has a blade on the target. Well, I, the main arm, the straight arm. And the other one I use is the Mini Blades of Glory, which is basically the same exact rig minus this fifth blade right here in the middle. I feel like the fifth blade gives you a little bit more flash, and I mean, it just it depends what the fish want every now and then. Like I said, since I'm in Tennessee, I'm only allowed to throw three with hooks. So I use these little hitchhiker screw lock things. I screw them into the nose of the bait and I clip them on the top too for where, where you're swimming it through the water. It's on top and the fish usually hit it from the side or up or they come from behind. And they usually do not hit them. They will hit them, but not typically that much as they do this target right here. Now the reason I call this the target is I have on these four separate arms, I have the same color, same size swim baits. And on my target, I either have a little, a slightly bigger one or a different color one. And in this instance, I have four uh, Ghost Shad 3.75 Rage Swimmers. It's basically their version of the Swing Impact Fat. And right here, as my target, I have the 3.75 French Pearl. And it's just a different color and it's something for those fish to key in on. Especially if they're falling, they'll hit this one more times than one of these side ones. Now the heads that I use, since I can only throw three, I usually throw an eighth ounce. That's because when I'm fishing this, I want it to stay a little bit lower in the water column. Because when I'm throwing this, is in pre-spawn, you know, cold water months. And those fish, they're just they're going up and down. They're, they don't know if they're going to spawn. They don't know if they're wanting to go shallow or go deep. So... I'm casting this into shallow water and I, as I'm reeling it, it just gets deeper and deeper. And also, I can I can adjust it with my rod tip. I can hold my rod tip up if I need to to keep it up high or I can lower it to get it even deeper. And another reason why I use a little heavier jig head is because the blades will actually lift the A-rig up slightly. Now, when to use bladed and non-bladed A-rigs depends completely on water clarity. If it's very clear water, I'm not going to throw one with blades unless I feel like the fish are not hitting it good or something. I typically, whenever the water's 
you know over six seven foot water clarity I will not throw blades but if it's under that five foot you know where it's stained water I will throw the blades just to give it a little bit more flash more just to give the, get the fish's attention and one thing I do to save money is you're throwing a big rig right here so one you want to use heavier lines so you can break that rig free from everything but I also if my jig heads do not have a screw lock I will take some where's this at? I will take some super glue put a little dab on the jig head and finish threading my swim bait onto my jig head and I I fished in my last video y'all saw I fished an entire tournament with this same exact rig I retied a few times because I got hung up but as you can see I lost this one swim bait but I did not lose it to a fish I lost it because I shut my swim bait up in my compartment and it ripped it so I just went ahead and finished ripping it off this rig in itself with these same exact swim baits probably caught 20 fish and that's one reason why I like a little bit tougher swim bait something that has, still has good action and I use super glue super glue will one it saves money in all fish and stuff you can do you can do it to help mend plastics together but that's all I have for you guys if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below I will do my best to answer them and don't forget to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, catch them big.